everybody how are we doing today steve mingle co final web design uh once again quick tutorial today for uh virtumart so virtumart is the most popular e-commerce platform within um, joomla cms so if you're familiar with joomla and you want to integrate into a uh, e-commerce website uh, virtumart's a great option so basically what we have here is the dashboard and I'll just quickly pull up the front. This is what a front end of a Virtumart page might look like. So you have your, you know, product images, um, you have your different abilities to change colors and sizes um, and prices even where this kind of auto updates, you have your descriptions, you know, very standard e-commerce um, website presentation. Now in the back end, this is where Virtumart, and I'm just going to go over some of the main features that the Virtumart platform offers. Starting with the control panel, so that's basically the dashboard. You can get some overview of your different inventory and products, some other extensions and such, um, information that's updated, as well as statistics on orders and such. So that's the first. We'll go to product categories, and this should be fairly self-explainable uh, if you've used even the front end of a website. Just because you have the different categories, we have our t-shirts, our hoodies, our different hats, whatever the product might be, um, that's going to go into a category. And that brings us now to our category. So here's some mugs. And there's a lot of different features here where you're able to actually filter um, what information. So if I want to just see the t-shirts category, there, we just pulled up all the t-shirts. And I can go in and individually update and change um, these products data and product information. So you have your typical name, your SKUs, your alias if you want to change the URL, whether things are published. So all this different data, you can go in here and put some HTML for your product descriptions. Um, as far as quantities and stock, uh, dimensions, this is more for shipping if you get that complex and you don't just have a standard shipping and then you have your actual Im images of the product as well as other custom things this this part gets a little custom fields that's where you can check do different sizes different colors um so it's really powerful platform guys if you haven't used virtue mart it's awesome it's very similar to woocommerce in uh, wordpress or even a platform like shopify or um big commerce there's several out there so why don't we go down here to we just kind of went over custom fields and I'm not going to get too much into these because this could almost take its own video, but you have your different multi-variant type things where you can have selections of colors, um, of sizes, of the different types and such. And then going down here, we'll go into the actual inventory. Um, this is just a breakdown of what's there and how much you have. Now this piece, uh, again, you don't really need to use this. It's only if you want to get to that level. So not all these features are needed. However, they do have the op opportunity to use them with the software, and I just want to go over them real quick. Uh, taxes and calculations, again, this is pretty straightforward. I actually don't have any tax information set up. It's all done um, through the checkout. And then the reviews and ratings, you can go in here and manage different reviews that users leave as your products start to uh, get more traffic and more people and you start to get more orders. So going through orders, this is where we see what has actually been ordered on the website. We can go back and check our orders, revenue report. This is where we get our numbers again, more statistic kind of data and stuff. Uh, our list of shoppers, if you have them actually signing up. And then obviously coupons, which you can create different coupons to use for like say save $10. Um, or you could do something such as save 10%. It really depends on how your e-commerce website needs to function. Now we're getting into a few of the more setting features of how the front end looks. We have the manufacturers. Really, you only need to have one, whoever your, your manufacturer is. And then I'm just going to go quickly over the shop. And again, this gets into more of the who is your shop, your, your, your images. Um, your shipping methods, which this this we usually just do United States Post Office, but you can do FedEx, you can do um, DHL or whatever, whatever you want really. Um, so that's one option there. And then this is getting a little bit long with a lot of different things to cover. So just going into configuration, you can see that this is really kind of the bread and butter of the Virtue Mart as far as how your settings are going to interact with people on the front end. So as I go to Add Cart. 
this actually adds it to my cart, which then launches us over to um, the checkout process. And you can see here where our items also added up here. And people are going to be able to show cart and make their pro make their checkout process. And a lot of this is configured in here. So I'm not going to go over all these, but you have your shop settings, like whether it's online or whether it's offline, different controls for your orders, what emails are being sent in and out as people make orders. Um, shop front is more of how the, the front of the website is engaged. Like, are you going to be able to use coupons, uh, the review system, the product listing? So this gets, again, very complicated. I could make a video just on the shop front. Templates is going to be your design and a few settings as far as what it's pulling with your CSS files and your JavaScript. Um, pricing is how your, your numbers show on the front end. So let's go back and how this information is displayed, but really more over how um, this information is being displayed. So take a look at that. The checkout process, what kind of cards you're going to take, um, payment methods, I should say and what type of payment system you're going to use. Orders and settings, again, these are, these are a lot of front-end aesthetic things that will be able to decide. So if I select product sales, you're going to see how many of the product sales have been there. If, you, if I select um, sorting fields, you're going to be able to find different sorting fields along with feeds and then quickly just SEO. So guys, that got a little bit longer and way more information than I actually wanted to go over. But I just want to let you know really that Virtue Mart is a very powerful um, platform that a lot of people are using with their Joomla websites, turning them into e-commerce. So if you guys have any questions about Joomla um, and Virtue Mart in, in specific, please let us know. Give a like, give a subscribe to that stuff helps and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.